Hello guys, welcome to Times of India Auto Dialogues. Today we have Mr. Anand Kulkarni with us. He is the Chief Products Officer of Tata Passenger Electric Mobility. Thank you so much for having us. And thank you for having me on your show. You're welcome. And also, first of all, congratulations on the launch thank of the Tata much. Harrier EV. And uh, the first interesting part of uh, the launch was the key, definitely. Yes. Looks, looks very unique and uh, looks very, very pretty also. If you can take us through the key, uh, there's a few basic functions that would be Correct. Yeah. So this key is uh, uh, it's capable of doing a host of functions. Okay. Of course, the first one is that you can access the car. Yeah. You can open and uh, close the car and you can go inside and you, you can also shut the car. But also you can open the tailgate, tailgate. with that okay. when the car is not live. And thirdly, you can also use this for remote APA features. And th those are remote automated park assist features. So you can use uh, these features uh, in a particular sequence, these buttons, so that you can do remote parking, or you can do the summon mode. All of that you saw on the, on the stage today stage, yeah. was through this key fob. So this key fob is a very amazing device. Okay. And our design team has uh, devised this to be a very nice digital uh, signature. Right. And uh, uh, it's something that we are really uh, happy about. So it has total of 11 functions with a small key, correct, 11 functions. Absolutely. That's very interesting and also what inspired to make this round shaped key fob? I think it uh, it, it also is a very digital, digitally native right. uh, signature the way that it is. It uh, has a very high uh, premium feel to it right. and uh, within a very short uh, footprint uh, it, it takes care of uh, a lot of functionalities. This can uh, reside in your pocket uh, and it won't poke you, it won't uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hurt you, it won't make you uncomfortable. Right. And it has the right level of uh, uh, weight right. to make it feel extremely premium. Yeah. And now let's talk about the car itself. Yes. Uh, enough about the key. And uh, the talking about the design first, what are the main uh, key changes that you guys had to make uh, when compared to the diesel variant? So, uh, you should not compare this with the diesel variant right. because the entire underfloor right. is absolutely changed. Right. The whole platform is... The, the entire yeah. architecture, the entire platform is changed right. because this one is a pure EV platform, right. pure EV architecture. Right. So, it occupies the battery at the center right. and uh, if you recall, we had this discussion uh, about a year and a half back right. when we launched the Punch.EV uh, EV, yeah. and we said it was the active EV platform, architecture's yeah. Yeah. first product yeah now this is the third product okay and therefore uh, uh, you have a front wheel drive uh, you have a rear wheel drive so that's the drive line configuration flexibility you also have uh, a large sized centrally mounted 75 kilowatt hour uh, battery. battery a battery pack and more importantly this also gives you a new independent suspension in the rear an independent suspension in the front uh, we call that the ultra glide suspension right and right. the ultra glide suspension is a fantastic way to uh, uh, cushion out all the shocks right. and yet maintain precise handling right. on the car okay. so that's what uh, this entire thing is about so it's a completely different platform no relation with the diesel at all no only the design is inspired the so the, platform the, the top is, hat is right. uh, inspired by the or uh, shares uh, components from the ice right. side, huh. but the underfloor and the design of the propulsion system is all new. It it is a pure EV. So how uh, since you've mentioned that it's a completely new platform, there is no relation with the the diesel or the ice variant. How different is the handling and how different is the the way the car drives when compared to the ice? So model? you should see it to believe it. Uh, because of its uh, phenomenal power, 500 Newton meter of torque ah. and uh, 230, 240 kilowatt uh, power, right. it does a zero to 100 in just 6.3 seconds. Right. And that's uh, that's, that's the, impressive. That's that's impressive. the fastest uh, SUV, high SUV in the market today. Right. No right. other car can do that. Huh. And in terms of uh, the speed, uh, control on the speed and control on uh, directional capability. Uh, I think this is very precise, right. uh, very, very capable. Right. And also, great power comes with great control as well. Yes. And uh, in, in, in terms of handling, like you, mentioned, like you mentioned, the brakes and the suspension and the whole platform needs to be 
built on such a way that yeah. it needs to be controlled Absolutely. going from 0 to 100 in 6.6 seconds or 6.3 seconds i'm sorry 6.3 seconds is a very good thing but at the same time controlling the power Absolutely. should also be very important Absolutely. and also the what are changes in terms of braking is it the same as the diesel variant or is it upgraded uh, so there are two things again right. here there is a primary braking hmm. and there is a secondary braking right. but on an electric vehicle right. you also have regenerative braking right, right. and because you have two motors right. you have a phenomenal amount of regenerative braking that can happen right we have given four, four modes of region hmm. zero one two three huh. so you can free roll or you can have one two three and in the uh, highest level of region it, it is a very good deceleration that you can get uh, of course, you can absorb a lot of energy, but it is also braking, safety. Ah, yes. And then along with that is the uh, regular mechanical braking system. Hmm. So it's an added uh, advantage, it's an added uh, element of uh, braking power available. So the power for traction is absolutely balanced out and more mm -hmm. with the power on brakes as well. Okay. So talking about the design, the, the car surely looks very smart and sleek. And what are the main uh, design highlights that you would want to highlight when compared with the ICE model? So, uh, th this entire front end portion has been redesigned. The mm. bumper uh, is new. There is a illuminated logo. No, uh, this is a new thing uh, that's coming out. Of course, there are uh, elements within the uh, cabin. There are uh, screens. Uh, we are debuting with a 14 and a half inch Neo, uh, Samsung Neo QLED screen, which gives you excellent, excellent viewing quality. And it's combined with Dolby 5.1, which gives you immersive, almost subliminal quality of uh, audio system. Right. So people will not forget, uh, have to worry about uh, home theater experiences. Your, your car is going to do that. Right, right. And along with that, we have multiple terrain modes. Uh, all of those switches are available. The comfort, right. the, uh, the cushions on the seat are uh, well developed for uh, extra padding, for making the ride more comfortable and journeys more uh, uh, pleasant. Right. More importantly, the inter because of the active EV architecture, the floor is flat mm -hmm. in the rear. And that means ease of access. Five people can sit comfortably. Five people can sit uh, and it is unhindered access yeah. and you can move around very, very comfortably. Right. Uh, despite all of this, the car has uh, almost 500 liters of boot, boot space. space. And you can stack it up right up to the roof and you will still not be hampered because we it's have got the, the EIR VM. camera. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about the battery pack and the motor and uh, the range. So, uh, what are the battery pack options offered with the... So, we are offering two battery packs, right. a 65 kilowatt hour and a 75 kilowatt hour. Right. And uh, we are offering two drive configurations, right. a rear wheel drive only and a f uh, all wheel drive. Or the rear wheel drive is with a smaller battery pack? Uh, no, the rear wheel drive will also be available with a higher battery pack. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, there will be no quad wheel drive uh, with the 65 Okay, uh, that is the exclusive kilowatt. to the top end trim. Correct. And how uh, localized is the in terms of a motor or in terms of the battery? Well, you heard uh, our uh, supplier partners talk today. Right. So, how lo localized is the and, uh, So, if you look at the front engine motor, huh. uh, right now it is almost 75 to 80 percent uh, localized. Right. The battery is completely localized. Of course, the cells are imported, but the battery is completely localized. Right. The rear uh, shaffler drive unit uh, is getting localized uh, uh, very rapidly. Right. right now, the content is about uh, 15, 20 percent, but uh, we are already, uh, we have laid out plans. Right. to try and see how to get that up and uh, more localized. Right. The rest of the car, the localization le levels remain same. We've already localized power electronics, right. uh, the uh, high voltage cables, right. and uh, uh, some other elements of the EV. And the battery cells? So the battery cells are not localized. Right. Uh, not for us, not for anybody. We have to still import them. Right. And also since Tata Motors is a very big and is a key player for the Indian market in terms of electric mobility and now they are number one brand in terms of electric car sales. Yes. Is there any plan to localize the battery cells as well? So we have a group company called right. Agratas, right. which is currently working uh, on ensuring that localized battery cells are available. But uh, those plans we will share at a separate point, but there is uh, a team which is already working on that. Right. And also, like we know, the ICE Arrier was already feature-packed, it, 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 it had a lot of features. And now coming up to the electric variant, it has a lot of features, a lot of tech like you mentioned, it is, it's having speakers, high-tech speakers and also high-tech, uh, high-definition screens from Samsung. And if you can uh, highlight few uh, unique features that you like in the Harrier. 
you know, one, one of the things that I am really happy about right. is the power. Right. Uh, it, it, I, I love power, right. so that's one thing. Right. But I also love the suspension. Right. But that's, that's something that we have spoken. Right. If I were to highlight something else, ah. I think a smart feature that our engineers have done is the rim protection. Right. And uh, the rim protection uh, basically uses the surround view uh, Camera. uh, cameras to say when is your rim very close to the curb right. and therefore it helps you protect. Uh, against an accidental scraping against the uh, curve. Right. The second thing that I'm really happy about is the way that our engineers have set up the ADAS. Right. Uh, and I spoke uh, in the presentation on that also. Right. This, I think, is going to set up new references. Uh, thank you so much thank for you your very time. Much. And also can't wait to experience that area. Really. Yes, very soon. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please do uh, post it down in the comments below. And the review of the new Tata Harrier BB will come up on our YouTube channel soon. Take care and see you soon. Thank you.